Good afternoon, family. And I hate to bring this story to you because I really like this guy. And uh, as we talked about New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo. And I really kind of think it's time for him to probably step down at this point. Um, because, you know, it's just getting worse and worse for you. Him, um, in terms of your sexual misconduct um, is it's 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 sad that uh, that's what happens to a lot of great ones. They let you know the lower extremities do the thinking and talking for them, and a lot of times that's what gets us in trouble. Anyway, let me read this story to two more women have approached the New York State Attorney General's office. Reporting alleged sexual harassment against Governor Andrew Cuomo. Oh, Lord. The fresh allegations come days after the state's attorney general, Letitia James, released a report accusing Cuomo of sexually harassing 11 women. Yeah. Monday's revelation means the total number of women who've made allegations against Cuomo now stands at 13. Nine of the accusers are either current or former state employees. As for the additional two women, it is still unclear who they are, um, what they are alleging that Cuomo did to them, and when the incidents were alleged to have taken place. Cuomo is not, James is not believed to have been briefed on new allegations according to the New York Post. Cuomo has not been seen in public since James's report was released on last Tuesday, and the governor released a pre-recorded video statement where he denied having ever touched anyone inappropriate, suggesting that James's investigation has been politically motivated. And I don't think you should have did that. I mean, you powerful white men have been doing stuff like this a little bit too long. Powerful black men, men in general. You think with your dicks, okay? And then what happens is you let your lower extremities lead the way. And then when women don't want to give it up to you, you either fire them from the job or you don't want to work with them or you make their job extremely uncomfortable and hard because you think that because you have some position of power, you get a chance to do whatever you want to do. And there's a lot of individuals like that. That's where that narcissism comes in. Like the pastor, he look at all his congregation, all his flock. And now he got to decide which one he want to do up. Which one does he want to have sexual relationship with? And then he got to see if she vulnerable, how weak is she? So, you know, he get her story. Next thing you know, he done impregnated her in the whole damn church. This is sad. I mean, on Sunday, it was reported that Cuomo and his aides had been trying to cut a deal with his party, whereby he would not run for a first term as governor next week in return for avoiding an impeachment trial. 
those talks appear to have floundered um, with the governor's top aide, Melissa DeRosa, now announcing her resignation on Sunday. On Monday, it was revealed that DeRosa resigned because she felt his days in office were inevitably numbered, so she didn't want to stay there. DeRosa, 38, who served as a powerful secretary to the governor of the state of New York, announced her departure in a Tuesday statement, I mean, in a statement on Sunday night that notably did not even mention her boss. With Cuomo um, facing pressure to resign and the threat of impeachment after the New York Jur Attorney General's report branded him a sex pest, DeRosa believed he had no path to stay in office and was no longer willing to stand up for him in public, a familiar person with the matter told the New York Times. Attorney General Letitia James' report, which concluded that Cuomo sexually harassed 11 women, was more scathing and damaging than his top aides, including DeRosa, had expected. DeRosa, Cuomo's closest aide, resigned after admitting in a statement that the past two years had been emotionally and mentally trying on her. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve the people of New York. For the past 10 years, then DeRosa said in a statement, the New Yorker's resilient and strength and optimism through the most difficult times has inspired me every day. Personally, the past two years, though, have been emotionally and mentally trying. I am forever grateful for the opportunity to have worked with such talented and committed colleagues. Tellingly, Rosa's statement, again, did not make a single, a single reference to the government. Cuomo, who for months said, the public would be shocked once he shared his side of the story, has not spoken publicly since the release of a 168-page report written by two independent attorneys who were selected by the state attorney general to investigate. A female executive assistant who accused Cuomo of groping her said what the, that the governor did to say, what he did to her was a crime, and that she was the first woman to file a complaint against Cuomo. In her first public interview, in which she identifies herself as Brittany Comiso, uh, she told CBS this morning that the governor needs to be held accountable, like all these powerful white men. And until you do, ain't nothing gonna be right. Nothing. You got you hold black people accountable all the time. You you hold us accountable for stuff we ain't even do. I mean. Y'all get it. Commission also, com Commisso also said that um, he reached under her shirt and found her while they were alone in the room at the executive mansion last year. And on another occasion, he rubbed her rear end while they posed for a photo. He broke the law. In the interview, Commisso also described how Cuomo's advances grew bolder over time. And then she explained that she was even afraid to come forward due to his power. People don't understand that it's the government of the state of New York. He is a professional fighter. It hasn't been easy. Cuomo has flat out denied that he ever touched anyone inappropriately, but he acknowledged hugging and kissing AIDS and other individuals. The New York State Assembly Judiciary Committee, Charles Levine, said on Monday that the committee would hold two executive sessions to discuss the ongoing impeachment inquiry um, and followed by at least two public hearings in which experts will be called to testify on sexual assault and harassment and the impeachment process itself. Wow. Wow, honey. Wow, wow, wow. The committee will recommend whether to impeach Cuomo after fully reviewing the evidence, he said. We will anticipate that the process will be concluded very, very soon. And when I say very soon, I'm speaking about several weeks. Levine defended the process length, saying that lawmakers owe it to the people in the state of New York to examine the evidence carefully in the Attorney General's report before moving to impeach. What y'all think about that? Y'all think they should get rid of him? Y'all think he should resign? Y'all think he should be impeached? What would you, I mean, if you could be a bug in his ear, what would you tell him? Would you be like, dude, 
you need to resign and you need to do it now. Or would you just let it go ahead on and let him be in peace because of his arrogance, it seems. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You know, but it's not looking good for the governor right now. And only he can hold himself accountable. Because if he don't, the people will. All right, you guys, you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And